The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Drawing nigh to God. Draw nigh to God, and He will draw nigh to you. James 4, verse 8. We should seek to understand what it means to draw nigh to God. We are to come near to Him, not to stand a great way off, for in that case we shall not be able to feel the influence of His divine Spirit. Those who came into the presence of Christ, drawing nigh to Him, could more readily breathe in the atmosphere that surrounded Him, catch His Spirit, and be impressed with His lessons. We are engaged in a serious, solemn work, and we should seek to be in that humble position, to have that teachable spirit, that the Lord can impress our hearts, and that we may feel His drawing power. We never draw nigh to God, but that He is drawing us. God has angels, whose whole work it is to draw those who shall be heirs of salvation. Whenever one takes a step towards Jesus, Jesus is taking steps towards Him. The angels' work is to keep back the powers of Satan. Those who are ever pressing a little closer to the world and becoming more like them in feelings, in plans, in ideas, have left a space between them and the Savior, and Satan has pressed his way into this space, and a low, worldly-tainted, selfish plans become interwoven with their experience. If we draw nigh to God, we shall draw nigh to one another. We cannot draw nigh to the same cross without coming into unity of spirit. Christ prayed that his disciples should be one as he and the Father are one. We should seek to be one in spirit and in understanding. We should seek to be one that God may be glorified in us as He was glorified in the Son, and God will love us as He loves His Son. God loves you. He does not wish to draw you nigh to Him to hurt you, oh no, but to comfort you, to pour in the oil of rejoicing, to heal the wounds that sin has made, to bind up where Satan has bruised. He wants to give you the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness.